Oh, wait, wait. Can I... Yes, yes. I, I forgot one thing. Because <laughs> since we are gadgets, yes. okay, uh, just stuff I carry around with me, like, I have a not exactly legal laser that I carry around with me. Um, because what do you want to point Sit out? Sit on you right now? Because I'm, I'm, as a planetarium director, when you're in the dome, you have that little arrow to point out the stars. But when you're under the real universe, you need an arrow that would work in the real universe, too. So there are lasers for, there's lasers for that. You have it on you right now? Uh, it's, uh, it's in the green room, yeah. Could you uh, no. shoot it at no, someone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do that. Look, I, another, just a quick, I, it's, a, it's apt. It's your show. It's just real quick. So, <laughs> So, plus I tweet the universe. It's like my, the, like mostly cosmic brain droppings, but it's the universe. <laughs> and so I was at my kids, my son's uh, Little League game, and they had one of these pitchers who's like faster than everybody ever was. There's always one of those. And people say, wow, you know, he's striking everybody out. And so I said, I wonder how fast the pitches are. So I, I calculated the distance and timed it. I used the timer on the, you know, did multiple timings, got down to a tenth of a second, did the division, I said, this kid's throwing 62 miles an hour. At that distance, it is airborne for the same amount of time a 96 mile an hour fastball is in the majors. So I tweeted this. I tweeted, you know, a, a fifth grader throwing 62 miles an hour. Cool. Oh, sorry, fourth grader. Okay. <laughs> so, well, look who's wrong now. <laughs> So, so I tweeted this, and someone replied, which app did you use? And I said, it's called the Brain app, all right? <laughs> so, like, so, so, so anyhow, so I, carry, I like things that measure the environment in which I'm immersed. So I have an electromagnetic field reader. I've got a breathalyzer that I carry with me just because it, just because it's fun no. to measure well, no. stuff. <laughs> there must be another reason. No, no. <laughs> no, I like, it's, the, it's, it's, I don't think measurement is, a, is an activity that is celebrated in our school system. And measurement is the lifeblood of all science. And in fact, those sciences that have not yet achieved a system of measurement cannot claim themselves to be mature subjects. Oh, there's a one person. <laughs> so, so you've like blow my mind it like it's six times during this conversation. That's why you know I'm, I'm gonna not recover. My brain is gonna be seeping out of my ear when we get back. But so, so take a look at like everything Freud wrote, and you look in there. Well, where are the measurements? There are none. So that's why psychology had lagged so far behind the other sciences. Uh, I know, they had psychology. not developed uh, so methods lame. of measurement. They need better measurement methods. Well, because like, cause how crazy are you? <laughs> I need to know. I need a number. Right. So, so you try, and and so you struggle. I mean, struggling the way physics struggled when it first began. But you know, you come along. Give psychology a few more hundred years. Do you and think you'll be entering the field of psychology never. at any point? No. No never. interest. Not interested in humans. All right. Sorry, we, I'm, we I'm got it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So so I just had to get the gadgets off my chest. No, 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 I'm glad. We, we, well, there's more to talk about. We're going to have you back. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Give him a round of applause. So good.